Every decision that you make has consequences. Even the smallest decisions. Are you making yourself better? Or are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? If when the alarm clock goes off in the morning and you ain't happy about it, you ain't doing what you want to do. See, you're fighting upstream. You're going against what God created you for. If your job makes you sick to go to, if you're unhappy with waking up to go to where you got to go, it's because you ain't living in your gift. Because ultimately, denying your passions is a slow suicide. Denying the things that you want to do that are going to make you happy, going to make you feel more fulfilled and more peaceful and joyful and content, it's just a slow suicide, it really is. But you becoming a shell of the human being that you were supposed to be. Would you rather be with them all the time, make all the sacrifices for them, never think about yourself, always think about them, but then you become a shell of a human being that you were supposed to become, and then when you walk through the threshold of your, of your home, you walk in as a shell of a man or a shell of a woman? It was on me, and that's the thing you have to realize. Everything you do, you may have some support, you may not, but it's all on you. You have to make the decision whether you want to be a badass or whether you want to, just want to be mediocre and everything's okay. But being a badass hurts. Stop thinking so much about life. Life is made out of actions because it's not going to fly around somewhere and by luck you're going to grab it. You find something and give meaning to it, something you like to spend your time with, something that gives you purpose, then no need to wait for the sense of life to come. Number one, whatever promise you make, I'm going to wake up at this time and not hit the snooze button, you wake up at that time and don't hit the snooze button. I'm going to eat clean, then you eat clean, but then you maintain a positive mental attitude. What if you actually set higher standards for yourself and you actually set those standards and you hold yourself accountable to it? Instead of looking at those things like they are a negative, look at them as a positive season of your life because you are a new creation every single day. I think one of the hardest things to hear after you don't get your way is keep working. But it's also one of the only solutions to be successful. You're not gonna get your way most of the time in your life. Just keep working. Hard work pays off, no one tells you when. You'll never know the true feeling of accomplishment if you've never faced a setback. You'll never know the true meaning of confidence if you've never had to bounce back from anything. Just keep working. You're not getting what you want, keep working. You are getting what you want, keep working. Failures are a prerequisite to who we want to become. I cannot stress that enough. So sometimes, Something that seems to be a negative thing seems to be a bad thing that is happening to us or even a season of dormant or even a season where we have to sit back and start to recalibrate, recoil the spring, so to speak, reconfigure where we're at. Sometimes that's right where we need to be. Perfection does not exist. Doesn't exist, man. You should try your hardest to get things right in moments where you got them wrong, figure out how to never get them wrong again. 90% of the time we think the same thoughts as we thought the day before. The challenge with that is the thought that you keep thinking over and over again becomes a belief. The process of change really requires becoming conscious of your unconscious thoughts, which means just because you have that thought doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth. If you have that thought and you accept it, you believe it, you surrender to it without analyzing it, that thought will lead to the same choice, which will lead to the same behavior, which will create the same experience, which then will produce the same emotion. The same emotions then drive our very same thoughts. Hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, 
actually doing something. That's what you have to do to achieve anything. Yeah, you gotta believe it, but you better get the work done. But usually we react. We have pain, we have suffering, we react, and we react about get the f out of here. It's those people who are able to control that feeling of flight and say, no, I'm a fucker. There's a way through this. It's just gonna end. It's gonna end, but we don't know that. We don't think that. At that time, it's gonna last forever. So what keeps me going? I've quit several things. I know what's on the back end of fucking quitting. It's a lifetime of thinking about why the fuck did I do that? And I ain't fucking doing that no more. Doing what you said you were going to do, that's all that matters in life. If you do what you say you're going to do, your self-image increases. When you do what you say you're going to do, you will be happier, you will be healthier, you will be harder to kill. You show up early, you do your hard work, you do what needs to be done, you're gonna get pats on the back, you're gonna get positive reinforcement, you're gonna get smiles instead of smirks, you're gonna get people wanting to be attracted to you. What are you doing right now? Are you not doing anything? Are you doing something stupid? Or are you making progress? What are you doing right now? But betting on yourself means sacrificing the time with the homies and the weekends and the TV for the big goal and passion and purpose that you feel you're cut for 